Hello. Hi. Welcome, <laughs> Welcome to, the to episode one of It's Cake, Cake Babes. Babes. <laughs> Our new vlog by Jamie and Rob. I was wondering about Yeah, you're gonna say I meant to say my name. I thought it was Jamie and So would you like to tell everyone where we are today? So today we've come to Maltby Street Market. That was so hard to say. Maltby Street Market. It's Maltby. really cool. Maltby. Uh huh. Maltby. Maltby Street Market in oh, well you can tell we're in London by the sirens, um, in Borough, uh, sort of Bermondsey Way, London Bridge, um, and what we're going to do is we're going to sort of go around different places, different tea rooms, markets, things like that. Um, and test the cake. Test the cakes, babe. Basically, we're, That's it. we're just gonna have all the cake, babe. And we're gonna tell you which is the best and save you yeah, save years you, of heartache. Uh -huh, going to the wrong place to find things that you don't find, which has happened oh. to us. Story of my life, really. <laughs> anyway, right, cake. We love cake. We love cake. We we love cake. Well, the reason we started this is because, well, we met doing a show and then we realised we became like best friends and then we realised we both had a mutual love of cake. It's a true so, story. Yeah, a Maltese so. slice brought us oh together. Oh my god! Yeah, so but hopefully we'll, we'll we can have it. Then. We'll have that can be a special one a day. Special. So today we visited two stands. What was the first stand we visited? The Bad Brownie Company, which have uh, stalls all over London. So obviously today was Maltby Street, which is where they are on a Sunday. They're at King's Cross Food Market quite often as well, um, and I believe you can get them at Selfridges. So. There was a few. We wanted the salted caramel because we've heard that that's the best one. But of course, I've had it before and it's it is genuinely lush. It's lush. I don't use the yeah. word lush lightly. They'd ran out though, so Kiss we thought point. we need to get another sort of interesting brownie because so, yeah. So we, we went for, for tiramisu. tiramisu. So I'm actually my hands are clean. I'm gonna lift it up so you can see it. So it looks a bit like that. It's very, the consistency is just what you want and she's given us a nice corner now piece. Now I think it looks a bit hard. I think it looks a bit dry, yeah. but having had these brownies, not this particular one from this company, they're usually lovely. Yeah. So I went with her recommendation. But then we have to remember that we have come here at near four o'clock. Yeah, so, actually, so they've sat. They've sat for a while, so. Right, you ready? Yeah, so we're gonna get stuck in. We're just gonna get stuck in. Yeah, so just Okay, take, so I'm gonna cut it down. I'm yeah, just gonna break yeah, it break though. break it half, <laughs> just do it. <laughs> Right. Okay. Right. I'm going straight in the middle. You ready? You go, uh huh. Quite rich. Immediately. Oh. There's. It's like an espresso taste in the actual brownie. Uh huh. It tastes a bit alcoholic on the top. Well, it's tiramisu. Uh huh, yeah. So. I'm but guessing... I'm surprised how alcoholic that tastes. Mm -hmm. mm. It's very the chocolate. The cream cheese. Oh god, there's 400 oh. million people Here coming past come. now. Where was it going? There's, there's, lots of, um, there's lots of chunks in it. She yeah. did say there's white chocolate yeah, chunks in it. She said there's white chocolate chunks in it. It's nice. My fault with it, if I had to have a fault, if I had to have a con, is that for me, I like a, like a moist brownie. I like it to be wet. <laughs> Story yeah. of my life. Um, I like it to be wet. No. And the salty caramel, when you are, it's just the moisture is. It's, mm -hmm. I think if you were to put this in the microwave for a wee 30 seconds, yeah. you'd get. But then I think this one's not meant to be moist, in fairness. And the, the flavour the flavor is there. Yeah. That's a it's, good. One thing about this, the flavour is bang on. Uh -huh. And it's exactly what it says in the tin. It yeah. tastes like tiramisu. Yeah, yeah. Really so. That, that icing sugar. The icing sugar is a bit icing sugary for me. I know yeah. it sounds silly, but it tastes like the top of a cake. You know, like like um, cream. Yeah, yeah. That's So I like it, I do like it, but, but I wouldn't get that one again. Yeah. I would certainly go back to the brownie, the bad brownie Absolutely. company again. Absolutely. Hopefully, actually, because mm, you we can tell that's quality. Get that salted caramel one. Yeah. I'm so trying let's to move think. On. Well, just to recap, we'll recap very quickly. <laughs> so that was the bad brownie company. We got the tiramisu, but what else did they have? They had a triple chocolate. Yeah, they had a peanut butter. They and normally a, have a salted caramel, and they had a bakewell brownie. Bake well brownie. But I think they do tend to. They have They also had a ones. bacon and maple, but Jamie's vegetarian, so, so she sorry. can't eat that. And bacon and maple, which actually. 
would have been quite interesting. Maybe we could get that again and, and I you could can just do try it. it. Yeah. So, so let's not make this too long. Let's no, move on. move on. So then we've gone to the Great British Cheesecake Company, also at Maltby Street Market, and we decided to go for the salted caramel and pecan slice. So, you, well, if I move cheesecake. In, so that's it there. You salted see. caramel and pecan. Oh, I've Ooh. dropped it. <laughs> the man was very nice that served us. Yeah, he was. Right. Ready? Okay, Go on, you get, get straight nice, in. Get that edge. Get a nice aged It looks moist. Yeah, I immediately... Oh, God, I even can... just looking at you, it... Oh, okay. no, wait, wait for me. Oh, you've took my base. My buttery biscuit base, base, base. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to have to get more yeah, because I'm, I'm missing a base. The, the base is quite hard. What, no, what you've done is you've done two base. Ready? Right, get okay. Get in. Oh, my God. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> that's it, that's it. That is a winner. That's that one. the one. Aha. Uh -huh. Sweet Jesus. That is what bloody is... brilliant. What? Now, for a start, the biscuit base is just what you want. It's oh. made it with digestives. Uh -huh. You can taste the digestive. And that's so creamy. Oh my god. Can you see? Uh, is it a bit pornographic? But. <laughs> <laughs> The cream, the consistency is exactly what I wanted from no. a cheesecake. No. I find them too hard sometimes. No. But I also sometimes find it a bit moussey. That's cheesy. Yeah. Do you, does that make sense? That's, there's, that's a perfect cheesecake. And actually, it's not too rich. And no. considering the ingredients, you'd think it would be. I, that think, is, we'll, I think we'll polish that right off. That's a 10, out of, right that's a 10, 10 out, out of 10. 10. So just to confirm, that was the Great British Cheesecake Company. Company. And that was the salted caramel and pecan cheesecake. And I mean, fuck, <laughs> it was. That's the first swear word. Oh. It's fun. Um, oh, they did sorry. do a Snickers one, but that had sold out. Yeah, now, I'm interested Having now to see had what... this, I want to come back and get that Snickers yeah. one, babes. Sorry, I'm just stealing a bit of this. Are we just going to keep going? Just let's keep eating it, right? Yeah. Let's wrap it up, Right, babes. we're going to wrap this up so that we can keep eating this, but thank you very, very much for joining us. This has been episode one of <laughs> it's, it's cake, cake babes, babes. <laughs> um, So yeah, I've been Robert McNeely you've And I've been, been Jamie Verkett yeah. And uh, this, this has been Salted Caramel and Pecan Cheesecake And uh, yeah, over and out uh, mm.